Hello everyone, this is Saurabh and today I am showing you how to create ALB in GCP. In my last video, I have shown you how to create VM in GCP. Now in this video, you will see how to create application load balancer in GCP. But first of all, please subscribe my channel and keep updated yourself with the latest and upcoming videos. So in this video we will I will follow these steps. First we will create a VM, then we'll create a stance group and then create ALB. In ALB there we will create two types of services. One is front end and one is back end. So let's look how to create VM then stands group then ALB. So go to the browser and open GCP cloud console. Now create first create stands. Give the name of stands. From here you can select zone and region. So I am selecting Delhi. Here you can select the machine configuration. I am going for with the low configuration, low cost machine that is E2. keep other things as default and boost boot this I am going with the Debian 1.2 image then I am also allowing HTTP traffic then just create, click on create <coughs> So it will take some time to create a VM. So now you can see that the VM has been created. Just click on the SSH to connect this. Click on authorize. Now become root on this machine. Now you have to install Nginx. So first run. First you have to update. Now install Nginx. <coughs> you can see that. Nginx is installed. Just minimize it. And select the external IP. Open new tab. And you can see that Nginx is running. Now, what we'll do, we will create load balancer and keep this stance behind the 
load balancer so go to the search box and type load balancing <coughs> create on just click on the create load balancer there are, you can see that there is two types of load balancer application load balancer and network load balancer and also one is network load balancer udp so i will go with the application load balancer so internet facing or internal only there is a choice i am going with the internet facing and there here you can create the load balancer global or regional regional means in that particular region region it will you can access from that particular region and if it is global you can access from other regions also so when you uh, basically when you create uh, your website for high availability then you should always go with the global i am going with the global okay now first create the front end configuration you can give the name of the front end like uh, sl one test hyphen front end protocol http because i am going with the port 80 done then go to back end okay so create a back end service okay so basically there is no stands group so first create the stands group i am cancelling this and uh, also cancelling this go to compute engine click on vm instances then go to below and create stands group create stands group click on this give the name of the stands group like uh, sl hyphen test one template name basically we are going with the unmanaged stand group so there is a difference between manage and stand if you are going for auto scaling then you have to select the manage stand group and if you are going if you are going without auto scaling then you have to select the unmanaged stand group in my next coming videos i will show you how to create manage stand group so here select the region you have selected your server is in delhi network keep it by default add port port name is http port number is 80 then click on the uh, <coughs> So basically I forgot to add a stance so just open this and go to edit select the stance from here this is the stance okay and then save Okay, now stands group is created. Now go to the load balancer. Create load balancer. Start configuration. Go with the global and internet facing. Then first create the front end. Go with the port 80. go to the backend in backend you have to create a backend service 
give the service now name backend type is stands group here is option other options are if you are going with serverless you can select the serverless endpoint http stands here select the stands group so basically balancing mode here you can give the basically suppose there are two backend so you want if you want to distribute the traffic so you can distribute the traffic so 50% will go there in this and 50% will go on another so in this uh, i am it is 80 i am this is only uh, backend so i am giving it 99 then click on done so obviously there is no cdn i am not so i am disabling it uh, here you can select the health check health check is necessary so create a health check run uh, tcp or you can select our at uh, http okay. then in, if you want to enable logging you can enable it this is a security cloud armor so this is a cloud armor is a WAF in google so web application firewall here you can basically provide a security if you want to allow a block any uh, ip suppose you are you are facing crawling or you are getting hits from ddos attack anything or dos attack then you can manage from cloud armor and if uh, also you can here define the rate limit and create different of types of policies for managing your website click on create and okay this is the routing rule so the routing rules is here suppose uh, there are two servers and you want to create a rule like if you, suppose there are two html page apc.html and xyz html if you want that if you, someone open this particular url it should go to the this server so you can define here uh, in my coming videos I, I will show you how to do to do this now just click on this is the review and finalize you can review what you have done you what you have created then click on the create oh, sorry give the name of the load balancer so basically sl hyphen test hyphen a l p hyphen one then click on the It will take few minutes for creating the load balancer. So now you can see that you have created load balancer. Just click on the load balancer. Here you can see this is the IP. Select this, copy, and go to the browser and paste it. So it error connection reset. Okay. So there is a some issue in firewall. So <coughs> so basically there is some issue in I think health check. So go to the stance VM stances then below you will find that uh, health check you just open it and edit and select the tcp instead of http because for http you have to create a particular url uh, of, of or test html page for health check so for now i am selecting tcp and click on save
now go to the load balancer and check the IP select the IP so this is you can see that this is open from the uh, VM IP now I am going to open with the load balancer IP so you can see that from load balancer same page is open so in this way you can you have to create a, you can create the load balancer so please uh, now what you have to do is you have to destroy all the things you have created otherwise it will be charged so go to the load balancer just click on select the load balancer and click on delete so in delete de delete everything backend service and health check also so it is deleting it will take time some, some time to delete it will here you can see that it is also de deleting service backend service now go to the compute engine select instances and here you have to go to stance group select this one and delete the okay so it is in use by service so let's service first let the service be deleted after that you have to delete the stance group <coughs> till then go to the vm stance and select the vm and delete this vm So after deleting you have to verify that everything is deleted or not otherwise some surprise billing has can come so you can see that load balancer is deleted this is the back end is also deleted front end is also deleted now go to the compute engine and go to the stands group select it and delete here is the health check you can see that it is also deleted stands group is getting deleted here you can check the disk there is no disk it has been deleted now the vm stands you can see that the vm is also deleted so in this way you can create your first load balancer and first vm where you can install engineers and also deploy your application in gcp so now so guys uh, So guys, please this is my YouTube channel link. Please subscribe it and keep updated yourself with the upcoming and latest videos. Thank you guys.